Hi, we have been traveling the world and are currently in Senegal. I'm Marida, this is Dre, and Mumbi. We never realized the challenges of moving from one Airbnb to the next without having an exact address. Come along as we navigate this situation. So today's a moving day. We're leaving one location in Senegal to go to another location, also in Senegal. And um, the biggest issue we have right now is the addresses here in Senegal are not precise. Like you have every time like let's say with an uber driver they're always saying here's my number call me when you get close to this location and give it to the driver and i'll tell them how to get here so there's nothing very precise so we have our suitcases and we gotta leave and we over here thinking we're gonna have to go to the main street get a taxi tell them to come back over here to the house because we can actually tell him where and then have the driver call the other Airbnb guy to explain to him how to get there. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a little annoying. No, inconv- is it annoying or inconvenience? It's inconvenience and annoying. I, I guess. It, I guess it's it's a little bit of both. It's just a little bit annoying or inconvenience because there's no specific location, and we just have to do a lot of extra things to get things around. I mean, we messaged the other Airbnb guy if he can possibly provide a ride but he said he couldn't right now we're asking this airbnb guy to see if he will but i don't know if not we're just gonna have to maneuver ourselves but that's it's just i guess it's just a little weird we're not used to dealing with that and then especially with the language barrier and it's even more because well in the language barrier on top of it so i don't know we'll figure it out we'll show you how we ended up moving around Woo! Okay, hey guys, it's our last day. I just want to show you real quick where we're staying at. Um, it's a king size bed, a king size bed, which was really awesome for all three of us in here, and we had the own space. A desk over there, the TV, of course. Mommy loved, oh, mommy loved this little dining. I mean, this table, cause she always went underneath it in the closet. A little mini fridge. Not bad. A stove. And it's, it's pretty much like a small makeshift kitchen over here. A small kitchen. And then, this was the one we kept talking about every time. The bathroom. With all the mini buckets. And, yeah, pretty much, in short, you use the toilet, get water from there, pour it in here, that's how you flush. And don't so you use that to pick up water there and flush the green one. I don't know what it's for. I think it's for sharing. We never used it, but hot water, everything, perfection. We had a good time. Oh, on that case, now we're gonna go try to get um, gonna go to the main road, get a taxi, come bring them back over here so we can get our suitcases in there. You go. Thank God the other place is not that far, but it's become a really big challenge trying to get a taxi, someone to pick us up to go over there. So let's see how the rest goes. So that's the main spot that we're gonna go pick up. Uh, try to get cab attack. We're with this guy, but he's calling the Airbnb guy to try to plan out where to go. Okay, we got a ride, thank God. But now, we're hoping everything fits in the suitcase. He spoke to the guy from the Airbnb. So far, it's looking up right. Let's just see the rest of it. <sighs> Two of these are something else.
we just made it. Actually, the travel day wasn't as bad as we thought. I mean, it was rough at that moment, but. It wasn't that bad only because, I guess because it was a short drive. It was a lot of traffic, but it was a short drive. So the hecticness only lasted for such a short time, but it was still hectic. We're here, the area of guy is so kind and we'll show you the apartment later on, but we're just happy. We're here. The inside looks amazing. The outside bit look a little rough. I think it looks a little rough, but you get a chance. To, well, it's not quite going to do that. But we're excited. I think it has a rooftop, and that's what we want to go and see if that's the case. Because from the rooftop, you can see the actual ocean. And I'm excited for that. The pump is just in this fray. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We. This place apparently had a rooftop and the view is spectacular. The water looks so beautiful. It looks so clear like how it did in the Bahamas. And then people there. And you see, we went to the store. We went to Ochan. Ochan. Yeah. Ochan. Ochan. Uh, you know the, the way to yeah, we, we went there today. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And you said it was fish and huh? it was rice and fish. Oh, okay. Okay. The rice is uh, here. Mm -hmm. And the fish is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Looks good. What's that? Uh, it's a uh, bunch of spice, right? Yeah, it's a. Uh, Oh, okay, okay. Okay. What kind of fish is there? Uh, I don't know exactly the, the name, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a good fish. Okay. Okay. This is the Senegalese food, rice and fish. It's our first time going to be trying Senegal food. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I am not the best at deboning fish, but I'm excited to try. And we are hungry too. The rice looks so different because this, uh, oh no, no, that's probably the bottom. And this, that, and this, that. So anyway, guys, yeah, so our host got us some nice looking, um, some like, nice looking hometown cooking. Uh, our Airbnb host, it's pretty cool. But we really wasn't too sure where to go to get something to eat at. So we got some fish and some rice. What kind of fish it is, that I don't know. I even asked him, I said, what kind of fish it is? He was like, I don't even know. But he was like, he assured us it's very delicious. Food is pretty good. But, I will tell you, the fish has the texture of a chicken. Like, you know? Oh, I haven't had yours. Mine is a little different. Really? No, because you got the. Anyway, go on. Sorry. Check. I guess I have a bigger one, but it's really good. Though. All thing about it, it's really spicy. It's like so good, spicy, but too yeah. much spicy. Yeah. It's too much because we can't give to Mom B. Mm -hmm. But it's like a good, spicy, but you're like, oh, where's my water? Yeah. But. Good enough. <laughs> I care, good enough. I know it's giving mommy the veggies. I don't know if it's a potato or. I don't know. That is. But it's good though. It's good, but I don't know what that is. I know there's cabbage in there too. Yes, I got me a piece of that. But, but the other one, I don't know. Yes, yeah, 